Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me here in Riften, where everyone's like, "Oh, what happened?" Because the flipping bloody Dawn Guard attacked us again. <laughs> they just don't learn their lesson. They just will not learn the lesson. It's a bad idea to attack me. Not only because I always kick their asses, but because I'm not a vampire. I'm not even an agent of the vampires anymore, right? Like I've killed way more vampires than the flipping Dawn Guard has. Like you never see them when you go up to like a vampire base. And like, you know, into a cave or whatever. There's never any Dawn Guard there already trying to take them out. You never find a vampire cave with a bunch of already dead vampires because the Dawn Guard have already been through. No. No, no, no. I'm the one killing the vampires, thank you very much. So, you know, I feel like they should really just naff off and leave me alone. But today, today I'm going to try and sort out this civil war in a way that doesn't involve a massive scrum of smashing people with axes. Because I'm slightly worried about my dog. Like, poor Vigilance actually might get in trouble there, I'm really concerned, because he doesn't actually have that much health, the poor thing. So as a result, we need to actually progress the main plot a bit. And for that, I need to go down into the Ratway to find Esburn. And fortunately, I know my way around this area pretty well already, because I'm pretty much the de facto ruler of the Thieves' Guild. Also, they're all super calm in the Thieves' Guild about the fact I have just actually brought in a house call from rifting up above into the Thieves' Guild headquarters. They're all 100% fine with that, which is marvellous. In fact, weirdly, the quest marker's pointing me towards this guy. Admittedly, I already know where Esburn is. Like, I've seen the door before, but all right, fine. If you want me to speak to this guy, I'll speak to this guy. It's been a long time since anyone joined us. Seems like people are in a rush to leave. Well, in all fairness, it is because the place got robbed and then I pretty much just screwed you all over and left you high and dry, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, Esburn. Tell me about Esburn. Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name, but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway warrants. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. I like you, V called the man. Right, so, and okay, fine, we already know where he is. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we can actually just take the shortcut straight through here, and we're pretty much on top of him already. Walking out the door, he was one of them asking about that old man you're looking for. Hang on, did you just sell me out to someone? Who did you just sell me out to? Excuse me. I hear even the simple jobs are becoming difficult. Someone just yelled, hey, that guy who was asking after the thing, he just headed out the door. Was that? Who was that? No, you're not, you're not these people. There's, who did you just sell me to? I feel like you just sold me out to someone, but I'm not quite sure who to. Anyway, ignore that into the Ratway vaults. And looks like we've actually got, ah, I see Thalmor. Right, let's just cast a monstrosity over there to distract the Thalmor wizard who can just, did you just run straight past that guy? Bloody genius here. Right, so, one of you down. Don't fall off, Vigilance! Hold on, Vigilance! Wait, who's the... Where's the... Wait, hang on, the flip... Where... Where's the rest of them? Oh, I think you've just gone up ahead. Yep, lovely. Thalmor soldier. Ooh, have you got special... Ooh! You're actually using flipping bound weaponry, are you? Well, lardy flipping da. I was about to say, yeah, that's a really good way of having, like, plausible deniability, because if you get caught, you can say, well, I'm clearly not armed, but they actually had normal weapons anyway, so... No, never mind, they were just using not very good quality inferior weapons then. Right, on we go, down we go. We've already pretty much cleared out this place by the looks of it. Looks like just a couple of Thalmor agents were trying to track this guy down. I feel they should have sent, like, more than that, given it was supposed to be quite important to them, but never mind, whatever. Any more of you bastards around takes? I'm pretty sure I came in here... Yeah, I came in here already, didn't I? I just came in via a different entrance. And this is indeed the door right here. Fine, anyone who wasn't here has already been cleared out. So, Esburn, are you actually going to be willing to speak to me? Esburn, I'm here to speak to you. And like Delphine sent to me. Don't just say I'm a friend. Lots of people have probably already tried that one. He's hyper suspicious. What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esburn. I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Yes, mention Delphine. That's a good idea. Delphine? How do you... So you finally found her, and she led you to me, and here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Well, that is going to happen if you're going to hide in a place called the Ratways and seal yourself away in a room with a single exit deep underground, yes. Also, I'm going to just try and persuade him, because I might be able to boost my speech a little bit. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me. 
what you want. Th this will just take a moment. And now there's a brief little bit of weird slapstick in Skyrim. Always fits. There we go. As he just opens locks one by one. Only a couple more. This is just such a totally odd thing. Uh, there we are. Come there on. we go. Like Bloody it. finally. <laughs> it's just so odd they do a little comedy skit of him struggling with all the locks on his door. Right. Such an odd thing to have just, you know, in the middle of the main plot. Alright, do we have, do you have anything good here, by the way? Hang on, one of those books valuable. Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I was planning to read all your books first, but alright, fine, whatever. I tried to tell her years ago. What exactly do we mean hopeless? Go on, tell me what you know, Asburn. Let's get on with this. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger. Here or in the afterlife, Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Okay, so our doing dragon raising other dragons, gotcha. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Well, um, to be honest, there's been quite a few dragons floating around, and I've been quite effective at murdering them and stealing their souls so they can't be raised again. Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. There we go, we've got to the point. Fun fact, Asburn. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then, then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must, we must, we must go quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. Right, well, he's just having a quick look around and gathering his stuff. I'm just going to have a quick ransack of his place, too, because there might be some useful stuff here. Like, ooh, free money. Everyone likes free money. And any of these books useful for... Wait, hang on, what's that over there? That's... A... Ooh, silver jeweled necklace. I'll take that. That's even better than money. Uh-oh. Did something just... What just happened? I swear someone just said, Yeah, I think Benor's already down there taking care of some flipping Thalmor. Right, after Benor. Right, first up, I need one of their... Souls for me. So if we can just finish this guy off. Yep. Do we... Oh, I think I missed him with Soul Trap. Bloody hell, I need to do Soul. Also, ooh, apparently you're actually good at magic yourself, Lardy Flippin' Dar. Well done. Oh, and even summoned a flipping Atronac, which can't fit through the door. Marvellous. Good work all round here. This team's going to be incredibly effective. Now, if any more of them want to just charge in, that'd be perfect, because I do indeed need a couple more souls to keep me going. Anybody? No, tragically, no one seems to want to show up at this point. Ooh, tiny chest, I'd forgotten about the adorable tiny chest. You could not fit a great sword in there. Oh, you'll pay for meddling in Thalmor affairs, someone just said. Who said that? What? what what's happening? Are you, are you fighting under there right now? Oh, you are as well. Who just... Wait, what the... Was someone waiting for us here? But I literally, like, when I passed through the load zone was... Okay, could we just... Who, who was it? Who was the who was the traitor? Just... No, no, let me... Let me pass. Who's this person? Who's Shivari? Do we know who Shivari was? Was she already in Riften? I don't know. Right, someone wanted me dead. Do not fail me, signed E. Who's E? What was the name of the main elf at the embassy? I can't recall, so okay, good. At least I can actually fit past all of you. <laughs> oh, she picked the wrong person to attack, quite frankly. That was never going to work out well for her. Also, can everyone just get out from underneath the secret passage, please? Because it keeps closing when I take too many steps away. But if I'm too close, they don't actually leave. So everyone just seems to be... Okay, everybody out from the secret passage, like now, before it closes itself. Right, is everybody... 
Now, I think it auto-closed itself when I got sufficiently far away, but if I'm too close to the... Right, you know what? I'm just going to flipping fast trap and it'll be fine. Right, everyone safely made it here to Riverwood. Yep, everyone actually present and accounted for. Let's go visit Delphi. I genuinely can't remember exactly how this goes at this point. It's been so long since I've bothered doing the main plot in Skyrim. I think I'm like, I've only completed the main plot in Skyrim like once. It must have been like five years ago or something. I genuinely can't remember exactly how it bloody goes. Also, did Ben not just yell stop thief? Is, is something else happening? Wait, hang on. Something might be happening outside right now. Is something happening outside? Oh, never mind. The Esburn thing's happening. Or maybe it's not. She's now wandering away. Right, let's go figure out who the thief is if we can. Sorry, we'll do the Esburn thing in a second. Yeah, leave me alone, someone just yelled. There's... Ooh! Something is going on. Right, the thief who was in Riften isn't there anymore. Now he's here. So this time he's got... Okay, this time he's got different things. Right, are these the new thieves that we're training over in the Thieves Guild? Because if they are, they're terrible. They're absolutely bloody terrible at the jobs. Someone stole your sweet bro. No, to be honest, someone stole someone's pot. Um, some money. What else did they steal? Uh, they also stole a bowl, a candlestick, a plate, a goblet. I mean, it wasn't great thieving, but yes, there is a thief around right now. Delphi. <laughs> I, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orknock, <coughs> hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. All right, I'm guessing we're going down into her secret basement, which is pretty darn awesome, it must be said. Now then. I assume you know about... Oh, yes. Dragonborn, indeed. Yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far-reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean... You don't mean to say you haven't heard of Aldrin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries. But I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades' archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karthspire <coughs> in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. You know what? I'll just flip and meet you there. That's fine. But I'll also say I'm mildly confused, because I swear I already found something called, like, Skyhaven Temple. It was that little ruin that was right next to the college. So what was that called? Because I swear that was something like Skyhaven Temple. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Karthspire. Good luck. So yeah, those two are naffing off. But yeah, what's the place I was already visiting? Here we go, way up here somewhere. Sky Temple Ruins, not Sky Haven Temple. <laughs> got it, well, you can see why I got a bit confused there, yes. Now as for this place, have I been close by to it before? I've been somewhere close by. I've been to Reachwater Rock. I've been close by to, ah. Okay, the mine's around there. Blind Cliff Cave, I know where that is. Ah, I know where this is. 
It's the thing I looked off to the left to and said, ooh, that looks interesting, but I think I actually resisted going there. Right. Probably the easiest way to go in that case would be either going to this mine and crossing the river there, or actually this river looks like it's pretty thick between the valleys. Probably easiest to go to this little... I'm pretty sure I didn't even go in here. I think this is just a mine I just passed by, though. What's Old Heraldum? And why is it marked on my map? Okay, I might go and visit that first, then actually me. You know, just to give them time to get there first. Because Esbeth's probably a bit slow on his feet. So we'll probably head over, yeah, to here. Then head due south to whatever this is exactly. Because now I'm sort of interested why this would be on my map when I've never been there before. Serpent's Bluff Redoubt, I think, is there because I think someone gave me a mission to recover something. This one I don't remember in the slightest. You too, Delphine. You be safe. Oh, I think Delphine and Ognar just said their goodbyes to each other, which is, yeah, kind of a vaguely sad moment. Though I'm not quite sure what the deal with Ognar and Delphine is. Like, were they actually lovers at all? I genuinely am not sure. I mean, there's one bedroom here, but it looks like it's laid for a single person. Though, obviously, I don't think there's, like, double beds really anywhere in Skyrim mostly. Everything seems to basically just be a single bed. So, yeah, I'm not really sure, like, how close they were. Do they care for each other? Maybe just as friends, I'm genuinely not sure. Right, here we are at the little mine that I passed by earlier. I think it actually didn't actually have any problems flagged it. It was just like, yep, this is a mine, so we didn't bother going inside. Can't even remember exactly what's in it. So just head south from here, up what looks like a fairly gentle incline. We'll get to what just looks like a... a little house. But for some reason... It's already on my map, suggesting somebody wanted me to go there for something already. Hang on, is it down here or is it... It feels like it should be up top. I'm just going to keep going until I reach up top. It's easier to get down once you're up than up once you're down. Okay, or possibly down was the right option all along. Never mind. As I say, it's easier to get down once you're up. We'll just basically run around the corner here. It wasn't actually anywhere near as high up as I thought it was. Right. Old Trolden. Uh, apparently I've already found it. Now, what exactly is Old Heraldon? I mean, if it was literally just a tavern, I'd expect it to be flagged as, hey, this is just a tavern. But, well, it looks like a tavern, or possibly it's just like a big house. Hello? Please stay away while you've got that spell on you. Alright, fine, I'll put the soul trap away, you big baby. Oh, so apparently, oh, I have a letter from here. Oh, yeah, this is the guy whose father hates him. What's this? I guess some things never change. Thanks for bringing this to me. Here, for your trouble. There we go. 25 gold for delivering an incredibly rude letter. Marvellous. What's your deal, by the way? What are you doing out here? Please stay away while you've got that spell on you. No, I don't have the spell on me anymore. Please stay away while you've got that spell on you. Are you referring to my enchantments? Because I can't turn them off. They're just like an intrinsic part of the armour now. Alright, fine. I guess I'll just go, actually, can I just go into your house? Yeah, it is technically an inn. I'll nip into the inn, we'll see what's going on in here. Ah, a visitor. Old Rolden Inn has hundreds of years of history, friend. Okay, apparently you might have something to say. What's your deal? And, ah, I'll rent Tiber Septon's room. Did Tiber Septon sleep here at some point? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septon himself led the army that conquered Old Rolden from the barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle in victory was right here. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Raldin's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. I'm not sure I actually want to sleep in a bed that's centuries old, but go on, I'll have a little Luxie at his room anyway. I'll give you a bit of money for the speech. Have a good rest. It's the big room with the double bed. Ooh, double bed. So I'm guessing it's the... Yeah, this one right here, presumably, because it's always the room on the right that's a bit bigger. Yeah, there we are. That's the sort of bed I'd expect to see if maybe actually um, Delphine and Ordnar have been a... Let me know if there's anything else you need. I was about to say, were you about to get into the bed? Literally, she was trying to get into the bed there. <laughs> Apparently, I was back... Ooh, I even get myself a little bit of a skill book there. I think that's a uh, block up by one if I hadn't already read it in the past. So as I've actually... Okay, I paid 10 gold for the room... And the room comes with 13 gold. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm not convinced your business model is going to work. Also, rather worryingly, there is an owned bed right here. Which suggests that I've got this room for the night. 
But like during the night, she comes and sleeps in the same room in a single bed, which is just kind of weird. Right. Probably the best thing I can do now is head back the way I came, this time avoiding the mountain. I have absolutely no reason to climb whatsoever. Head back towards the mine. Actually, if there's a path here, this would do. This is heading in the right direction already. Marvellous. So, uh, yeah, just follow this path down. There's just a random bear. Okay, that's fine, I guess. You know what? I'm not so concerned about the bear being around anymore. I think I can handle the bear. Thank you very much. Also, the dramatic music's playing. I feel like there's a bigger problem than a bear somewhere. Yeah, I thought so. Right, okay. Does anyone know what sort of dragon that is? And the answer is... It's a blood dragon. Not the worst sort at all. That's all right. Right, get a Storm Atronach down for the sake of just putting a bit of fire on it. And, ooh, hang on. I've got an idea. Skull of Corruption, Skull of Corruption, Skull of Corruption, Skull of Corruption. And... I feel like this just does not do the damage, no. Right, let's just see if we can just settle down somewhere where the bastard might actually land. Then we can just whack him for a bit. Uh, there's a bit of open space down here. He might be able to land around here. Everyone down here, we just want to get him on the ground. Then we can whack him much more effectively. No, he's obsessed with just doing flybys at the minute. Fine, I'll lead him down over here towards what looks like flatter ground in this direction. Hopefully he might land around here. And I think there's also a guard who might well have a bow in this sort of area. So we'll just head down over here. Yeah, this is good. This looks big and open and flat. He'll probably be willing to land round here. And this is the direction I wanted to go in anyway. What if he just naffed off? There we go. Right, okay. Well, I've got my close wounds. So I can probably... Yeah, good luck breathing bloody ice at me. I'm a Breton. And I've also got plenty of other resistances going on here. I'm just going to go for one quick heal though. Just for safety. Yeah, this works. If he just comes down again, we'll knacker him. That'll be fine. He's... I think he just breathed ice into himself there. And down he comes. And now we just whack him with a big stick. And we can just out the damage. Down you go, you bastard. Right, not so bad. Everyone survived the fight, by the way? Yep, everyone is present and correct. Marvellous. Now, from that mine, it looks like we should be able to head pretty much directly at the quest marker. If I just go down here, it should be a fairly gentle drop. Down onto, I won't exactly call it gentle, but it'll do, yeah, there's, there's a gentler drop round here. This is a nice gentle slope. And then we've got, hello, who are you exactly? This is, was that just a flipping Hagraven? I think it was as well. It's a Hagraven who sacrificed a bloody giant, blimey. Right, well, I'll send a friend down to play with you. There we go, I've been slowed for the time being. And so there's some more people. Yeah, I think we're kind of sneaking in the back here. But I tell you what, this will do the job here. Where's the rest of the team? I don't know where the hell they've gone. Right, well, the Hagraven... Oh, are they over there? Yeah, Iona's all the way over bloody there. I'm still under the effect of slow. She's been killed. <laughs> Sacrificing a giant. That's bloody impressive. Right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just snuck into the rear here because there's a big chest. One of the big reward chests. So that's nice. Ooh. Telekinesis, you say? Ah, I had been thinking I'd kind of forgotten about that. Ooh. Hello, Esbird. Sorry, I didn't realise you were planning to... Delphine. Delphine, are you feeling alright? Okay, good. She's figured out she doesn't want to be swimming right now. Marvellous. So right now my entire team is here, as is Delphine, as is Esburn. Oh, marvellous. This is just marvellous. This is the best. I can't see what's going on. I'm going to get away from the scrum and just... Oh, blimey. What the heck was that? Who had that magic? I swear... I think that was actually one of you lot, by the way. Right, Moira's coming in over here. I'm going to take out this person. Bit of healing. And then just... Okay, you were less tough than I was expecting, to be honest. How about you? And then you're just a pillager. Oh, hello. Um, Right, you're a lot tougher than I was expecting, actually. And then just go around there. Lovely. Was I also being hit by... I was being hit by some arrows at the same time. That was a lot harder than I was expecting. Esburn just throwing in some support. Also, Esburn has summoned a Storm Atronax. There's even more bloody people. <laughs> Vigilance is okay. That's the important thing. Um, Who else is unaccounted for? Do we know where Benor is right now? I'm going to hop down here if need be and help out. You guys have taken out that. Right, there's all these people. There's a Ravager. Oh, you guys are pretty tough, aren't you? Blimey, okay. The game has properly leveled you lads up. Right. Okay, I think there's also someone over there who decided they just don't want to get involved, but screw them, that's not really an option. 
I think we're supposed to come this way and then fight my way up towards the Hag Raven, but screw that. Hello! Right, you're a pillager. Oh, watch out for you. You're tougher than I'm expecting. And power attack to just stag you. And down we go, lovely. Right, everyone dead. I think everyone around here is dead. That's a good... Oh, no, there's definitely someone over there. There's... Ooh, someone up there has a big icy spell. Right, let's go and murder them. Probably another Hag Raven or something. Ah, oh, good, Benor survived. I thought he died. I was just actually going around looking for his corpse there. But no, it looks like Benor is okay, as is everyone else. Good job, guys. Though, yeah, these guys are a little bit on the tough side. Blimey. Right, I'm guessing we're supposed to be going over to here. And yes, this would actually have been... Actually, on my own, that would have been ludicrously difficult. So I'm glad I've brought to this point... Hang on, it's... Me with a summon four companions, so five people total, then Delphine and Esburn up to seven, but then Esburn summons in a Storm Atronax, that's up to, yeah, we had eight people. Eight people invading the camp, marvellous. Though I'm guessing this is going to be one of those dungeons where I'm not allowed companions and they're going to be forced to wait outside, tragically. No, actually, everyone's allowed inside. Oh, flipping marvellous! Oh, I'm loving this. Right, no, 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 stop you doing that over there. Hang on, I'm just going to go and deal with this guy, and boom! Soul thing for you. Yeah, you just try and use magic. I am so tanky versus magic. You don't stand a chance, mate. Lovely. I love your soul as well. Ooh, Daedrahal. Are we having one of them? Those are not the most common things in the world. Nice! I'm a bit slowed at the minute, but yeah, this is cool. I like knowing that this is actually what my specialization is. Ooh, and a blacksmith thing. That's actually very useful. Yeah, like um, as a Breton and with the, what is it, the Blessing of Mara and with other particular bits and pieces. Yeah, I have really good magic resistance. I can tank magic so damn well. So when there's a big fight going on, leave the big meaty lads to the rest of the team. But if there's a magic user, I should go and try and smash them in the face. That would work very nicely for me. Yes. Ooh, I actually have a purpose. Oh, and those two guys just went up ahead, did they? Oh, well, bloody charming of you. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have the symbol for king and warrior, and of course the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward. Okay, so that's Dragonborn, right there. So I know which one Dragonborn is. Um, I don't know which one's... I mean, is that one King? Because it's like a crown? I guess, hang on. What's the puzzle here? Over there, the symbols don't seem to match. There's nothing... Nothing up here. Hang on, do those symbols match up at all? No, those look like they're fairly generic. Can I just jump up on this, by the way? Uh, do I just jump up on this? That would be bloody useful. No, bloody scar and its invisible walls, eh? Though I feel like we don't really need this bridge. I really feel like we could just climb up this. <laughs> Especially when there's like, you know, eight of us total in the end. I'm the Dragonborn. So what if I just said, hey, all yes, Dragonborn. The symbol on the middle pillar. Yes, it was already on the right-hand pillar as well, but okay. Given that Skyhaven Temple was sealed against the return of the Dragonborn, I will try turning all the pillars to that symbol. I was already doing that. That was my idea. I'm the Dragonborn, so I'll put it to that. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. All right. So presumably we're now further in than any of the other guys ever got. So now we're probably... Oh, blimey. I've never played Skyrim with companions before, and now I'm just swimming in them. It's uh oh, yeah, this looks like a trap room to me too. See these symbols on the floor? Esburn's right. Look like pressure plates. Be careful. Well, I'm the Dragonborn, and one of them has the Dragonborn symbol. So I feel like that actually is a thing that I would be able to do, right? That's Benor's going to ruin this, by the way. I mean, the thing is, I could just follow the Dragonborn symbols across the room to safety. Um, yeah, you'll get across once it's safe, will you? Is Ben already... Yeah, Benor's already decided to actually step on it. No, it was Vigilance. It was Vigilance decided to run after me. <laughs> Vigilance, you're a good boy, but not always the smartest one. Oh, he took offense at that. Look at those angry eyes. Right, what trap have we got up for us next at this point? More simple puzzles for me to solve, being the Dragonborn, that's the cleverest person in the- Ooh! 
This is cool, though. Right. One possible trap chest. And no. Actually seems to be a normal chest here. Lovely. I'll take all this. Right. Now, what is all of this? Here's the blood seal. Another of the lost Akathiri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Kraken Braun. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reman Cyrodiil? Okay. So, do I just have to press A on this thing by just doing a bit of, well, I don't know, cut my own actual hand just with my own flipping dragon bow mace? Ah, eh, go on, then I'll give it a go. No, I'm going to pull a dagger that doesn't exist out of nowhere. It's coming to but still, life. that seems to have done the job. There's no telling what we might find inside. Well, probably Alduin's wall, given we came here specifically for that. Right, here we go. Let's see what we got. And what we've got is an ever-decreasing number of companions. Uh, Benno disappeared a minute ago, now Vigilance is gone, but I'm just going to assume that's because we're in a plot area. I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'll hopefully be able to reunite with them outside. Alright. This looks like a wall. Is there potentially going to be a word of power I can learn here? No, tragically it would appear not. This is cool though. I like all of this. You want to come over and check out the wall with me? Because this does rather appear to be the wall. Ooh, the wall from the trailer. Look, here is your turn. This panel goes back to the beginning of time. When Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlord. A legendary dragon war. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the wall. You see... Here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all they knew of Alduin and his turn. So we're looking for a shout then? Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? No, but I would guess the Greybeards would. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Oh, go on then. Tell me why exactly you're annoyed with them. If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you. Of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? I'm gonna be honest, none of those things are true. In fact, they're demonstrably untrue. Like, if they are afraid of my power, then why, when you go up there, do they tell you, Hey, here's a new location for a new shout. Why don't you go and find it? They try and make you more and more powerful. And they don't just want you to sit up there with them. They, like, very openly said, Hey, go and get the horn of Jürgen Windcaller. Go into this dungeon. Do some fighting and whatever. They sent me out into the world. And they sent me little quests to send me out to find more words of power. Like, all the flipping time. And they never made any attempt to make me just stay up in the monastery with them. You are demonstrably wrong about this, okay? Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains, those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Yeah, I'm totally on Team Greybeard, sorry. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. 
We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. All right, and I'm guessing that might be me, potentially, given it's, you know, kind of prophecy. But if so, gonna be honest, there's a bit too much beard there. That's not really the armor I use. I don't use a shield. Yeah, they were miles off on me. Just need to remind myself if there's anything else good around here. Ooh, Mace Etiquette. Um, I'm not sure I've read that one before. That might have actually boosted my one-hander, but it's already 100, so sadly it can't. Ooh, slightly unique gear. Blade Shield. Anything else good? Blades Boots. Um, heavy 1919. That doesn't look great to me, to be honest. I feel like, uh, yeah, I've come across stuff quite a bit better than that. But it looks quite cool, so that's nice. Ah, this is potentially a bit on the interesting side, though. Dragonbane. Yes, that sounds good. Same base power as that Daedric weapon I've been carrying. So, yeah, same base damage as Daedric's pretty darn impressive. 40 points of extra damage to dragons, 10 points of shock to everything else. 40's not terrible, but to be honest, the thing is, yeah... The problem with being too good at enchanting is everything else becomes completely pointless. Because now I'm basically getting almost 80 points of bonus damage with a Dragon Bone Mace. But still, it only weighs 14. Go on then, it might be fun to carry around and use when a dragon shows up. I mean, it is a sword, so technically the DPS would be quite nice and high. Plus, I don't know what it technically is. It might be... Yeah, if it happens to be made out of steel, say, then potentially I could improve it better than I could improve an actual danger. Ooh... Lots of blade swords, that's cool. Well, now I know there's good stuff floating around, I might just have a quick look around the rest of the rooms, just to be sure there's nothing else super awesome hanging out here. Well, this is fun. There's a door out to Skyrim out the back here. Okay, we might come out of that in a second, see where that actually flipping leads. What else have we got? Nope, literally just that. Nothing else much here, to be honest. Fine, well, let's go and see where this comes out then. And now we are... Here. Now there's Vigilance. Oh, bloody hell. Right. Does anyone know where Benor is? Ah, I found the problem. Um, I think Benor managed to get himself killed. Luckily, he's here. He's fine. We can bring him back. It's not a problem. Also, as some people are suggesting, yeah, while he's dead, this is actually the only chance you actually have to uh, make changes to his loadout. Because otherwise he basically ignores you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all his... I know it looks weird. Okay. That my formerly dead and now still dead again husband, I'm about to strip him naked. I know that's a bit odd, but it's fine. So I'm just going to take all of his clothes off him for the time being. Okay, that's that's fine. So Benor has now got all that. So I'm going to take that over here and I'm going to dump it. It's fine. This is, okay, it's, it's a bit weird, but it's not that weird. But now he doesn't have that stuff, and thus he physically can't wear it. Hopefully, he'll put on his good quality stuff, and thus be a lot more survivable. Right, so, Benor. Naked, naked, naked Benor. Just... Come on, get back up. We're not... Oh, okay, this is... I know it's even weirder to do that angle, and then bring him back. But, like, it... He's kind of not... There we go. We got him. He's fine. Right, Benor. Now, would you like to put the clothes that I've given you on? Because I've, I've given you clothes. Okay? Hopefully he'll... Okay, possibly now I'm just travelling around with my naked undead husband. Um, I'm kind of hoping he's... He's not open size yet. Ben, it's, it's okay. He, he's not a morning person. It's fine. Um, I'm hoping... Once actually... Oh, there we go. He's woken up a bit. It's okay. I'm hoping pretty soon he'll figure out he does have some armour in his inventory. And he'll put it on. Maybe if we just go out the front door, he'll figure it out. Also, um, add one to the Ben or Death count, whoever's keeping track of that. How? How is that a... That doesn't... You just... I didn't... How? How are you wearing the... You know what? I give up. He can just wear the terrible, terrible armor. You know what? I spent a lot of time and effort making you really nice armor. But no, you have to wear armor that doesn't actually exist. 
Also, this is cute. I just nip back to Whitron to do a quick thing. And yeah, actually, it's still showing some of the signs of battle from the recent battle. That's cool. Even though we're technically in, yeah, the actual battle happened in like a pocket universe, which is why the Open Cities mod didn't apply. Uh, but yeah, actually, the outside still shows some of the signs of battle. That's cool. Right, now, the thing I actually want to check here is... What is the base metal required to upgrade the Dragon Bane weapon? Is it... Quicksilver? Interesting. And apparently I'm... Even though it's Quicksilver... Oh, I can get it straight up to Epic. If I can get it up to Epic, that means that... Even though it's using Quicksilver, the game is, like, counting it as a steel weapon. Because that's the only weapon I'd be allowed to get up to Epic straight away. So, just like with the Blade of Woe, which I can actually... The Blade of Woe is... Oh, no, Legendary is above Epic, isn't he? Yeah, Legendary must be above um, Epic. Fine. So, with a Blacksmithing Potion, I could... Could I get the... No, with a Blacksmithing Potion, I can get Ebony and Dragonbone to Epic. Um, I can get this thing to... I could get this thing to Legendary. Logically, that would make sense. And that would make quite a big difference, actually. Like, that's 186. Legendary Dragon Bay might actually be... Ooh. Okay. I think I might want to do that. Though I'm going to need some Quicksilver from you. Ah, just perfect. She's selling some as well. Great. And blimey heck, if I don't actually have a Blacksmith's Filter right now for 40% was what I just got from that dungeon. Ooh. Okay, that's... That's of interest. Okay, I've got a plan. Step one, I really hope I put the gear back in the same place where I think it is. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed I did. So, my weapon and armor improving 25% better gear. Let's just quickly grab all of that. So, a gold diamond necklace, a gold diamond ring, and the other bits were... Hang on, yeah, it was the armor... And the braces. So between those four pieces, I can get 100% better. Let's create a bit of weight by just putting the Skull of Corruption away. Honestly, I'm not really feeling that thing, to be honest. No. And I probably don't need Oriel's bow anymore because I no longer need to, like, you know, kill Ganondorf or destroy the sun. Because I'm not actually a vampire. So probably we put that away and pretend we never had it in the first place. And also Croesus, because I literally don't need that for anything. Now, put all this good stuff on here, all conveniently next to each other. Beautiful. Now, how good with that alone can I make this stuff? So, Daedric's sword can be made only up to epic still, even with all that arm. That can be made legendary. Okay, blimey. Dragonbone Mace Epic is 112. Dragonbane Legendary is 131. Okay, epic up to legendary is a big increase. Now... If I were to do that potion at the same time as wearing all of that gear, would that potentially be enough to push me over into actually being able to turn this gear into legendary? Because if I could, I think that would be a huge increase in damage. Right, I've just dropped a save so I can just check this. Because yeah, here we are. Blacksmith. Now over to the grindstone. And now that is <gasps> legendary. Oh, legendary. Oh, flip. How big? That's going to be a pretty big increase. That's going to be a major increase. And beyond that, my armor. I can actually get... Oh, I can get the armor up massively as well. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. It's just enough. Okay. We can do this. Oh, my goodness. I can get, like, all of my gear up to legendary. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Okay, just reloaded that save. To make this happen, what are we going to need? That's already legendary. I need one ebony... Uh, the quicks I've already got. So, one ebony, two ebonies, and a dragon bone. Okay, two ebonies and a dragon bone. Please tell me you're selling ebony ingots right now. Bloody hell, I hate you. I seriously hate you right now. I'll have to go and get some from somewhere else. And for the stuff I'm actually wearing, yeah, refined moonstone times... Yeah, that's going to be times uh, four, together with just one dose of leather... Uh, anything else I actually need to improve for anything? Isn't there something I need dragon scales for? Oh, yeah, these things. So, dragon scales and dragon bone I can get from my house. I also need one leather and four refined moonstone from you. Though, obviously, she's not selling refined moonstone. She's just selling a tiny, tiny bit of moonstone or marvellous. She's selling literally nothing I want. Sometimes the guy inside the shop has a different inventory, though. I'll check with him. That's more flipping like it. Right, this guy's got the ebony ingots. 
times two. Any chance of some refined moods? Oh, you, my good man, are like you a lot better. Yes. Okay, double check this. So one, two, three, four bits of kit require the... Hang on. Hang on. Hang the flip on. Where's the... Where's the... Hang on. Wasn't it four bits of kit? Ancient... No, that's ancient shrouded. Do I not use the... Oh, no, I never use those. I never use those. It's only three. Fine. So it's the ancient Falmer boots, crown, and the curus that need to go up to legendary. I never use the gauntlets because if I'm ever using gauntlets for beating people up, I use the, um, yeah, the dragon scale gauntlets. That's fine. And I've got the dragon scale for that as well. And I've got the leather for that. So basically the top five things I just need to go boom, 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 boom. Because I need to do all of this within the flipping time limit to make it all actually, you know, stick. And then that's already legendary, so don't need to worry about that. Then this just basically goes to... Yeah, that goes to there. Ebony ingot, quicksilver ingot, dragon bone, ebony ingot. Fine. So literally, it's the bottom four here, then straight over to the top five over there. And then everything will be legendary quality. All right, we can do this. Right, and go, and go, and down, and down, down, and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so go, yes, go, yes, go, yes, go, yes. Back, 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 back. Come on, 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 come on. We've got more things to do. We've got more things to do. We've got more things to do. Right, go, 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 go. Boom. Yes. Nice. Keep your distance. Whew. Legendary gear all flipping round. Oh my goodness, right, let's put on the proper stuff and see how powerful that is in real terms. Okay, gear up to legendary. So, Blade of Woe, which previously was my highest attacking weapon, is now damage 162 with all of my gear on. Daedric Sword Legendary is at 177 without any enchantment. So, I need to really enchant that and actually hand that over to Iona. Dragon Bane is at 257! What?! Wow. Okay, Dragon Bane is 257 damage legendary. And the Dragon Bone... The Dragon Bone Mace is only 199. What? Okay. Well, this is interesting. Because the Dragon Bane is doing... Yeah, if that's only doing 199, then quite frankly, even with 80 points of extra magic damage on top... Dragon Bane is doing, like, nearly as much. And to a dragon, it will do significantly more. I mean, that's also doing another 10. So that's up to 267 already. So that's going to be like, yeah, 270 versus about 280. So honestly, they're now much of a muchness. The Ebony Sword, however, has fallen miles behind, all things considered. Now, that's only at 170 with an additional... Albeit, that's got the Paralyzed Chance on it. Wow. Okay. Dragon Bane 257 damage. That is ridiculous and I love it. And you are staying in my inventory, you magnificent bastard. In fact, I might just dual wield on occasion. Because I feel like, ooh. Ooh, I like that. Well, it looks a bit weird. But is it supposed to do that? That kind of looks like it's slightly bugging out. <laughs> I think it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of electricity. I guess it's supposed to be like, if it crackled... I'd like it crackling, but it feels like it's just kind of like, you know, a bit dusty and got some spider's webs on it I need to clean off. <laughs> just like the sword needs a bit of dusting. Right, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that's enough for now, including a really, really massive step up in the amount of damage I can do. Oh, the next dragon I run into, that dragon is going to regret picking a fight with me. Admittedly, all the dragons have actually regretted it so far. But, ooh, now I've got something called Dragon Bane for the eventual final showdown with Alduin. That's a good weapon to whack him with. That feels nice. The blades themselves, their ancient weapon, improved, made vastly better. Ooh, ooh, yes, I think I can deal with that. Next time, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading up to, I think it's up there. I'm pretty sure it's that mountain, actually. We're heading up there. We're going to go and hang out with the actual monks again. We're going to see what they've got going on and crack on a bit with the main plot. And hopefully, we can actually get to the actual war council bit, the, um, the ceasefire talks. I think that's actually pretty soon, and that is a very, very fun thing indeed. So, we will see if we can get to that soon, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Wait, did people just vote out democracy? Hang on, what have you just done? Oh, go on, let's have the greatest Oktoberfest ever. Yay! Spain and Russia have announced a new alliance as a result of the warmongering of certain Central European countries. Oh, well, excuse me! 
My leader from now on, no weaklings will stand in the way of this country's path to glory. Oh God, Germany, not again! <laughs>